Okay guys, so today I want to talk to you about a major flaw that these Razors 170s have. But the good thing is that I'm going to suggest some pretty good solutions for this. It's a pretty easy fix. So, I'm talking about the engine cooling inlet. And that's the, this pipe back here in the back and it's labeled uh, the engine cooling inlet. Uh, the little mesh you see there, a, a fan in there that's uh, ran by the engine. The engine turns this fan. Uh, it's supposed to uh, suck air and keep the engine cool. Now, I'm talking about um, the rear of your razor. This is back here where the engine is or the rear axle. Okay. So uh, this is what happened when I bought this uh, Razer 170 used. It uh, kind of felt like it was overheating. It was too much heat. And so I started looking around and guys, this is what I found. I removed the three screws to get the duct or the mash piece out of the way. And this is what I found. So if you already have one of these, please make sure you take the screws out and open this up and make sure there is no grass in here. This is the second one I found with grass built up in here. And matter of fact, I cleaned it once and we went riding in a pretty deep mud and I found the same scenario the next time we came around. So uh, there's some companies that sell already um, something pre-made for this solution, but you can also build your own. There's also an option to add a uh, filter, an inlet filter. Uh, this is good for uh, places where there's uh, a lot of dust. In my case, I do some mudding and a lot of riding on, on grass fields. So I'm still gonna build the duct type or the snorkel type and it's not so much for the snorkel to keep the vehicle underwater but it's just so I can see what's going on up here at the very top. Uh, so thank you very much for staying to the end and I hope this was helpful and please guys subscribe I have many other videos coming on this vehicle so thank you for stopping by.